Welcome back! This time we are going to talk about the letter G. This letter is a little tricky for English speakers because of the sound. The letter G has two sounds, a G sound with the vowels A, O and U and a soft sound H with the letters E and I. The syllables sound like this. Ga, he, he, go, gu. Again, ga, he, he, go, gu. And that is how you read those syllables when you see them in words in Spanish. Some examples. Gato, gato, cat. Gente, gente, people. Girasol, girasol, sunflower. Gobierno, gobierno, government. Guante. Guante, gloves. Now, what happens when you have words when you need the strong sound with the letters E and I? Okay, so in that case, we put the letter U in between G and E or G and I. It will look like this. G U E G. G, G U I, G, G. These are some of the exceptions that I was talking about when it comes to rules for pronunciation. Okay, so we have G, G, and we have to put a U that is silent in between those two letters. Some examples: Gepardo. Gepardo, chira. Águila, águila, eagle. Now, here comes another rule that might complicate things, but if you practice, you will get it. When you have words that you need to pronounce the U in the middle of G and E and G and I, you will add two little dots on top of the U. Those two dots are called dieresis. Dieresis. And what they do is they signal that you have to pronounce all the letters when you're reading that word. The syllables will sound like this. Gue. Gui. Again, gue, gui. Example, bilingüe, bilingüe, bilingual. Pinguino, pinguino, penguin. The letter G has two consonant clusters, GL, and gr. Okay, the syllables are gla, gle, glee, glow, glue, and gra, gre, gri, gro, gru. That is how we read them. Some examples glaciar, glaciar, glacier. Globo, globo, balloon, granja, granja, farm, cangrejo, cangrejo, crab, grupo, 
Grupo. Group. That concludes the lesson for the letter G or G. Now, before you go, remember, let's go to the exit ticket. You will have three seconds to read in Spanish the following exercises. Glaciar. Gente. Gato. Águila. Pinguino. So, how did you do? I hope you did great. If not, you can always review the material again and retake that exit ticket. I hope to see you in the next lesson. Keep practicing.